In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each of these atoms in HClO4. That's perchloric acid. So the red, those are oxygens. The green, that's the chlorine. And then this white, that's our hydrogen. So we use these general rules to find the oxidation numbers. Looking down the list, we can see that hydrogen, when it's bonded to nonmetals, and chlorine, oxygen, here it's bonded to oxygen, those are nonmetals. So hydrogen is going to be a plus one. That's its oxidation number. Oxygen is always minus two, except in a few instances. So it'll be minus two here. So let's add that in. And we're left with a chlorine here. So chlorine's normally minus one. It's in group 17. It's a halogen. But in this case, because it's bonded to oxygen, we don't know the oxidation number. So we're going to have to calculate that. And we use the fact that in a neutral compound, and this is neutral because there's no plus or minus up here, in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. So we could say we have 2, 4, 6, 8, minus 8, plus the 1 here, plus the oxidation number for the chlorine, which we don't know. All of this, including the chlorine, has to equal zero. So minus 8 and 1, that's minus 7. So the oxidation number on the chlorine, it has to be a positive 7 for this to all add up to zero. So the oxidation number on the chlorine is plus 7. So to recap, we figured out the oxidation numbers for the atoms we knew, the chlorines and the hydrogen, and then we used that to figure out the one we didn't know, the chlorine here. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for HClO4, and thanks for watching.